Hey guys, Cruz here. Welcome back to TPPI, or Test Pack Please Ignore. Alright, in the last episode, uh, we, we went around looking for essence, and I did not have any luck. Could not find any. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build a, a twilight portal, and um, go into the twilight. Because uh, apparently there's usually a lot, of, uh, a lot of essence in the twilight. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So I went around and I gathered up some uh, a bunch of vanilla flowers, because I think they have to be from vanilla Minecraft, the flowers that you use, which was, it was actually quite a task. So <laughs> there was a lot of flowers out there, but uh, most of them were Biomes of Plenty or uh, Botania and stuff like that. But yeah, I finally got, uh, these are the only two different uh, vanilla flowers I could find, were roses and uh, the yellow flowers. So, uh, yeah, so um, we're going to go ahead and build a twilight portal and go in there and see if we can find some some essence in the twilight. So, oh, I've got a shovel on me. All right, so where should we put this guy? I'm thinking we should probably have it somewhere over here. Uh, maybe right up here? Oh, well. Like right here, maybe? I think that'll be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some water. And we're also going to need a diamond. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. Just to be safe. You never know. <clears throat> Alright. So, we'll go ahead and grab a couple buckets of water here. We will... Oh, zombie. I'm going to fill this in a little bit. Oh. Hello. Alright. Let's put some water here. And some water there. And there we go. Now we'll just surround this guy with some flowers. Alright, cool. And that should do it. I forgot the dang diamond. <laughs> How many diamonds do we have, I wonder? Oh, we don't have too many. Fifteen. Ah, we got plenty. No big deal. Right, I'm really hoping we find some essence. Um, <laughs> that'd be great. <clears throat> if not, um, we're going to have to start working on something else. But I'm fairly confident that we'll find some essence in the, uh, in the twilight. Oops. Nope, I just want this dirt so I can fill this little thing in. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and toss this in. Boom, there we go. Got ourselves a twilight portal. Alright, <clears throat> you guys ready? Let's check. Um, okay, we're good to go, we're good to go. We got food, we got all kinds of stuff. Alright, let's do this. Um, Alright guys, so it seems to have spawned us in one of those really dark forests. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of... Uh, kind of crappy. But that's alright. Um, there's a giant ravine there. We're just going to go out here. Leave a trail of torches. Alright, there we go. That could have been bad. Um, there's lots of bad things in those uh, in those dark forests. Um, we got another another little guy there. All right, let's just uh, let's go ahead and uh, fly around see if we can't find some essence. And I think I already see some on my ooh. I think I see some over here actually. Now I don't know if that's on top of the. Uh, we're gonna see. It might be on top of this. There we go. All right, please be essence. Please be essence. I think this is essence, guys. Alright, let's pick some up. Bucket of liquid essence. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, that's right there. Did not have to go far at all. Alright, thank you, Hijack, for that tip. He said, go to the go to the twilight. You'll find essence there, no problem. And he was right. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bunch of oops, put a bunch of essence in this barrel here, and I will bring you guys back when I'm done. All right, guys, so here we are. I went ahead and just drained this whole entire thing. We got 83 buckets of essence. So, yeah, that's going to be great. That's going to do just fine for now. Um, and, yeah, I see a bunch more on the map. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there. I'll get it later. Um, but for now, we're going to head back. Head back to uh, the base and get to work on some Ars Magica stuff. Um, eventually, I also want to like set up like a, a strip mine here, uh, here in the twilight. I think that'd be great. Or actually just do some caving or something. Um, because there's so many resources here in the in the uh, twilight, but we will worry about that at another time, in another episode. So, all right, let's head back.
All right, so here we are. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just set our bucket or our uh, barrel down, or dang it, not barrel, drum <laughs> down right here for now. Okay. Now, I think what we need to do is, and I could be wrong, but I think what we need to do is make an item frame um, and some other stuff, maybe in a book, and uh, we need to set it next to a pool of essence. And that will create our uh, arcane compendium, I believe. I don't know. I've never actually messed with uh, Ars Magica 2, so this is my first time. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff uh, gathered up, and I will bring you guys right back. All right, guys, so here we are. I went ahead and made an item frame, and I made a book, and I've got uh, a couple little blocks of essence here. Now, I think this is going to be enough. I don't know. It might not be. It might have to be like a 2x2 two two or something. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try this. Now, what we should be able to do is just set the book in here, and the essence... Uh, will get sucked into the book and it'll turn into an arcane compendium. So let's go ahead and try that out. Oh, there we go. It's doing something. Alright. Oh, is it taking it from the barrel too? I don't know. <laughs> okay. How long is this going to take? There we go. That was cool. That was really cool. Okay, so we got our arcane compendium now, don't we? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. So we can go ahead and take this essence and put it back into the barrel. So we'll do that because we don't want to waste anything. All right, now let's head inside and sleep so it can become daylight. I don't want to have to mess with any mobs. All right, guys, so cool. We've got our arcane compendium, so let's open that up and see what we can do so far. Um, it's got a whole bunch of stuff on how to use this, and uh, it explains... You know how to how to use Ars Magic and all that kinds of all that kind of stuff. Um, you can configure the UI. Uh, let's see, uh, your first spell. This is kind of what I'm interested in right now. Uh, your first spell. It's going to tell you how to make your first spell. It's going to it's going to let you know that you need an Oculus, an inscription table, and a crafting altar. Now all this is fairly easy to make. Um, the Oculus and the inscription table are just made in a crafting table. Uh, the crafting altar itself, though, is a uh, a multi-block structure. So, I wonder if um, Oculus Casting Altar. Um, I don't know where it shows the uh, picture of the Casting Altar. Maybe it's uh, in the next couple pages. Nope. See the entry on the Crafting Altar for more. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with uh, making the... Let's see, what was it? Uh, already lost. <laughs> the Oculus. Okay, this should be fairly easy. So if we go over here, we just type in Oculus. <clears throat> yeah, it should bring it up here. All we need is some uh, some bricks, uh, glass, coal, and blue topaz. So let's go ahead and grab some coal. Two of those. All right, do we have any blue topaz? Yes, we do. Piece of blue topaz. Um, we need some glass. I need to clean out my inventory. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> I think we only need one glass, right? Yeah, and then three bricks. Um, and I don't have any bricks right now, but I can make some. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean out my inventory real quick, you guys. All right, so we should have enough uh, to make this Oculus now. So let's go ahead and craft that up. There we go. Nice. And we opened up a new entry in our Arcane Compendium. So if we look at that, what did that open up? Inscription table now. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and check that out because we're going to need to make that as well. So it's just uh, spell parchment, feather, torch, slabs, and planks. No, it says, okay, yeah, we can use any kind of slab. So we're going to need some three slabs, two planks. Um, let's go ahead and grab that. We'll grab another piece of wood here. Convert that into that. Make some planks. Planks, slabs. Spell parchment is sticks and paper, which is cool. I think I have some paper left over, actually. Yep. And sticks. I don't have any sticks on me. Or do I? It might be in my backpack. Yep. Alright, so let's make this uh, parchment. Alright, there's that. Um, what else were we going to need? Cannot remember. <clears throat> okay, slabs, got them. Planks, got them. A uh, feather and a torch. I've got torches. Whoop, I just need a feather. Alright, there we go. Now let's see if we can go ahead and craft this guy up. If I remember correctly, that feather, 
torch. There we go. All right, so cool. We've got our inscription table now. And we also unlocked another entry. So let's check that out, see what we unlocked. Okay, there's the crafting altar thing. And lectern and magic wall, which uh, we're actually going to need these to create the crafting altar. So if we go to crafting altar, it says, oh, I guess this is the crafting altar. It's not a, it's a component of the multi-block structure. Okay. Um, so all this is is a piece of stone and some Ventium dust. So let's go ahead and craft that up, actually, because that's going to be fairly easy. And I think I already have some Ventium dust in here. Yes, I do. So let's go ahead and craft this guy up. There's our crafting altar. Nice. And we also unlocked another new entry. Everstone, I believe, is the one we just unlocked. Um, all right, so Lectern. Let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so that's just slabs and a plank. That's pretty easy. Got our Lectern. All right. Now let's check out um, magic walls. Uh, we're going to need uh, a few of these. At like I want to say six of them maybe. So, Oh, this will make 16 of them. So yeah, that's perfect. So it's just two Ventium dust and a piece of stone. So that's pretty easy. Let's grab a piece of stone. A couple more Ventium. And let's go ahead and craft this bad boy up. There we go. 16 magic walls. Nice. Alright, now let's check out Magician's Workbench. That's uh, We don't need to make this, but this is kind of cool. Uh, and I do plan on making it uh, eventually. A chiseled stone bricks. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Okay, so we did open up some other stuff here too. Uh, shapes, components, and modifiers. Those are uh, for creating our spells. Uh, we can do projectile, self, and touch. Components. I don't know any components yet, and I don't know any modifiers yet, but that's fine. Okay, so, you know what, before I get too far, I actually want to kind of build a little place uh, to do all this stuff, you know. Um, this is where my multi-block structure is going to be, but I'd like to have a uh, kind of a little area to keep all my Ars Magica stuff as well. So I might do that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, I will do that eventually. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, oops. All right, we've got our Oculus and such. So let's go ahead and set that down and kind of check it out, see what it does. <clears throat> so there's our Oculus. Okay, so this brings up our, our little uh, skill trees. And uh, we don't have any of this stuff learned yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and learn projectile. So that used up one of my blue points. Um, and I will go over this stuff later, I guess. But uh, okay, so now I have projectile learned and these are believe are these two over here I believe are modifiers and this is and this is a uh, oh, let's see what I can't remember exactly what that's called there's modifiers there's um let's see oh we've got some more stuff here as well okay projectile self and touch yeah 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 uh, components and modifiers okay so those two I believe are modifiers and this is a component, I think. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not too familiar with this, but, uh, you know, we'll get it. All right, this is pretty cool. It's a pretty extensive skill tree. And then there's also uh, other tabs as well. There's uh, defense, utility, and offense. And, uh, you know, obviously we're going to work first with offense. All right, so here is our multi-block multi -block structure that we're going to build. Now, you can uh, change it from layers to, like, uh, there's layer 1 or layer 0, layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, and then there's all. That's what it's going to look like. Now, you can build this out of whatever you want, but um, let's see here. <clears throat> there are different effects uh, that can be gained by using different materials uh, to build this thing, such as uh, the main blocks in order of power are as follows. Uh, wood planks and stone brick plus one effect. And there's sandstone bricks, which wood, nether bricks, nether quartz, and they all give you uh, different uh, modifiers and these caps up here uh, depending on what you use for them they also give you modifiers so for the caps a grand total of five in the structure because there's one right here in the middle and then four on the top um, there's glass coal redstone iron lapis gold diamond emeralds uh, emeralds actually do the most diamonds plus seven gold blocks plus six lapis plus five you know I think I'm gonna go with lapis actually because I have a ton of lapis so that's what I'll go ahead and do. That'll give us plus five effects, which isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. So let's check this out. Oh, and then there's moonstone and sunstone as well. 
<clears throat> which I don't have any of either, <laughs> I don't think. So there's that. All right, this one is shown, is shown made out of a uh, sandstone. But I think what I'm going to do is, let's see. We can do nether bricks, actually. And that'll give us plus three effects. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it out of nether bricks and lapis blocks. Okay, so we've got some a little bit of work to do. i got to craft up some nether bricks and, yeah, some nether brick stairs and stuff stuff like that. So I tell you what, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start crafting up this stuff to build this altar, and I will bring you guys right back.